All right, guys, 1953 Chevy pickup truck, highly customized, highly modified, quite a few body mods. As you can see, it's lowered a little bit, it's stanced, it's got cool wheels on it. Uh, we're going to go in detail with this thing. We'll throw it up on the back hoist, show you what the undercarriage looks, at, uh, looks like on it. We'll uh, take it to the back door or drive it if weather permits, and uh, basically just give you an entire tour of the truck so you can get a good idea what you're going to be purchasing if you decide to take this one home with you. So let's fire it up. All right, guys, on the front of the truck, you can see they've uh, removed the, uh, the stripe here, that piece of trim that goes up the, uh, the center of the hood to try to sleek the truck out a little bit, and they did a pretty good job of that. Um, you can see here the fender here, I mean, beautiful, and you can look at the like, kind of tucked stance that it's got. I really do like the whims on this thing. Uh, very Kind of almost like an old school, like a billet specialties type wheel. I like it a lot, and I do like the, uh, the match center. It actually kind of it, it gives the truck a lot of flair, especially with the, uh, the billet outer ring. It actually, it actually kind of showcases your uh, disc brakes in the front a little bit too. Uh, the stock rim, of course, would just be stamped steel. You wouldn't be able to see anything through it. Um, as far as uh, the paint on the door and the paint on the, uh, the roof, all of it looks like it's in really good shape on it, of course. Um, you can see here that you know they did keep the door handles on this thing. I, do, I don't really care for shaved door handles all that much. Uh, and I do like that it's still, it still has some tasteful amounts of chrome on it. Um, you know, but, of course, been sleeked down uh, considerably. Uh, running boards look like they're in good shape. Doesn't look like there's big old nasty steel toe boot prints on it or anything of that nature. I mean, come around to the side of it here. It looks pretty good. Of course, I really like that the paint is not a very loud color. Um, you know, it's, it's a little bit more subtle, and I think it looks beautiful with the way the bed looks here. I mean, you can see here that the bed, it's almost like a cherry-type colored wood, and you can see that the truck is red. It's, I, I, I really like the, uh, the color scheme of the truck. Uh, of course, you've got your stamp Chevy uh, tailgate on the thing, and of course, they've got the protectors, and this is uh, something that we did so that the, these chains don't end up scratching the paint, of course, just trying to keep it as, uh, as clean as possible. Rear bumper, chrome looks beautiful, and I'd like to point out the big Hankin exhaust tip coming out from underneath here. Just a little bit of a clue of the small block Chevrolet that's underneath the hood. Um, you see here, we've got like, kind of like a stance look as far as your tires go as well. It looks like the rear rims are a little bit bigger than the, uh, than the front, if I'm not mistaken, on this, and it looks very, very nice. Um, of course, you don't have any uh, logos other than just the Chevy badge here on the side. Beautiful job here, and I like how they also left the louvers in the truck. I always think stuff like this looks really good. I don't like when they smooth them out too much. So overall, I think it's a very tasteful build in the thing. And I also would like to point out the really cool headlights they have in it as well. Um, looks like a uh, like an aftermarket style headlight, and this looks like this is LED as well for your turn signal. So uh, no more candlelight uh, six volt system type stuff. They've uh, it's it's been upgraded extensively. So uh, I guess we'll check out the custom interior next. All right, guys, as far as the interior goes, you still got the bear claw style latches on, or the non bear claw style latches, I should say. The door actually shuts pretty good. These things have always been known for being a little bit hinky, but this thing, uh, they've got them aligned pretty well. So uh, I you know, tip my hat to them for that. You can see that they've got uh, brand new weather stripping on the truck. They upholstered this, which is normally just a painted piece. Um, they put the same matching upholstery on this as well as the uh, door panel here. It's fully customized, of course. Some nice billet handles here, especially down here. You've got billet pieces as well. Um, they left this part of the door uh, to be original for the truck. You know, I mean, this type of just was just painted. Um, you can see here that the sill plate here is custom, custom carpet in the car. I mean, no big uh, evidence of boot rash or anything like that up underneath the carpet, obviously. Uh, billet foot, uh, I guess it would be brake pedal and gas pedal, of course, with probably, I'm imagining a stock tile style master cylinder probably underneath the truck, which is uh, normal for these things. Um, you can see here it does have AC, uh, vintage air setup. Um, all your controls are right here. Custom gauges in the truck. I like these a lot. We actually have one or two trucks with these gauge setups in the in them here, and I like them a lot. Looks like an I did it uh, column in the truck, which means you do have tilt, um, you know, so on and so forth with a nice billet wheel and the thing. Um, as far as your interior and your seats go, I would like to point out that they actually kind of have these uh, bolstered a little bit, you know, where you actually kind of sit down in them a little bit to keep you from sliding around if you ever do decide to throw this thing around a corner or two. Um, outside of that, there is a uh, radio over there in the passenger side. 
Um, <clears throat> glove box, all that. They didn't shave any of that stuff off. They got the vents with that nice overhanging type thing that they put in here to mount all your vents and your radios, and it's very tastefully done. Um, you know, it gives you a place to mount things. That's the kind of the big uh, thing about these trucks is the dashes on these are so sparse and so little, and because it's got all this nice, pretty factory um, paneling on it, you don't have any place to put anything. So, of course, they put this uh, under panel thing that goes underneath the dash to give you some space to uh, mount some of your more modern accessories. Um, let me think here. There, you'll see that there's a tag there on the dash that uh, says that there's a shutoff underneath the passenger seat. So that way, if you, uh, whatever example, want to leave your truck sitting at a car show, or at the grocery store, whatever it may be, and you get nervous like I do with people walking around your car thinking someone's going to take it, uh, there's actually a kill switch underneath the seat that no one needs to know about. You can take that completely off of there. No one will, no one will be the wiser, and uh, that just makes it that much more difficult to steal. So uh, outside of that, that's pretty much the interior of this truck in a nutshell. Uh, I guess at this point we're going to go take it out back here and see if we can either hot wheel it around the block or uh, just run it at the back door to get you a good idea of uh, how she runs. And then uh, we can throw her up on the hoist. All right, let's take the 53 Chevrolet pickup truck for a ride. I tell you, she's got plenty of power. Now you're hearing a lot of wind noise today because the wind's blowing about 400 miles an hour here today, man. I tell you what, all the trees are laying down, power's out everywhere. Look at that, stopping nice and straight with no uh, hands on the wheel. Look at that pop can go boom. <laughs> like I said, the wind's blowing today. Now, Tom answers this phone seven days a week and practically 24 hours a day. So if you want to know just how easy it is to park this dream in your driveway, you just give him a call at 248-974. 9513. Now look down here on the dash. All these custom gauges. They look like they belong in there, don't they? Just a beautiful job there. Everything you need right there. She's got power steering, air conditioning, tilt column. The finishes are unbelievable. The interior is sweet. The bed looks great. I tell you, trucks are super hot now too, especially these uh, early 50s uh, Chevys. Man, I love them. Now, our shop's right outside the Motor City in Plymouth, Michigan. So if you want to come down and check out this truck, please just give us a call at 248-974-9513. If you need to fly out and take a look, we're close to the airport. We'll even come down to the airport and pick you up, only 20 minutes away. If you need to send an inspector, just let us know they're coming, and we will accommodate them in any way they need. Also, we work with two finance companies. So if you need financing on this truck, we have two choices to deal with. All you gotta do is give Tom a call. He'll put you in touch with the finance company and they will take care of the rest. And then Vanguard will park this dream in your drive. Listen to the exhaust. Kinda hard to hear today, cause like I said, we got the windows up cause the wind's blowing so much, but it, trust me, she sounds great. Now here's our shop right here at 15100 Keel Street in Plymouth, Michigan. Now stick around because we're going to put this baby up on the lift so you can check out the bottom side and then we're going to pop the hood and take a look at that crate motor. Alright guys, this is the underside of our 53 uh, Chevy pickup truck, highly customized as you can see. We do have a, looks like a custom gas tank in the thing. Um, I would like to point out that this license plate is actually retractable and it can actually swing back up in there uh, by use of this little motor here. That's all the wiring for it there. Um, frame, of course, looks like it's been painted or powder coated. I can't tell which. I believe that to be powder coat. Um, uh, you know, of course, this was a frame off restoration type deal. So, um, of course, the body of the truck was off when they did this. And, of course, you don't have any overspray or anything like that. So, a uh, professional job there. Uh, brand new exhaust on the truck. Um, Magnaflow mufflers. And if you'll turn your attention this way, um, I can point your, direct, or point your attention to this uh, GM 10 bolt rear end. 350 gear ratio, it is a posi, and uh, holding it all on the car is a four link here, and as you can see it's all heim jointed all properly, and uh, it has uh, adjustable coilovers here, and uh, they do have adjustable, adjustable dampening on them as well. Drum brakes on either end of it, we have looked at the drum brakes, uh, we made sure that they're safe, that you know it's not put together crooked, anything like that. Um, so the underside of the bed is in really good shape. You heard me talking in the showroom about all that, that beautiful cherry wood. It's still under here as well, and it's actually really pretty. You could pretty much slide a mirror into this thing, and you could show it off at car shows, and people would actually you know, be somewhat impressed. Um, this is a very nice truck underneath. Moving forward at that, 
you can see here, here's our what I believe to be a trans cooler, if I'm not mistaken. Um, over here is your brakes over here. You do have power brakes. You do have the proper proportioning valves and everything, or I should say the residual check valves, um, along with your proportioning valve there. Moving forward to that, you get a turbo 700 R4 uh, transmission, which is a four speed, uh, with the fourth gear being an overdrive, which means that uh, in the, you have the uh, 350 rear end back there. This right here with the overdrive means you can pretty much hop this truck on the freeway and twist, you know, whatever it may be, 2200 RPM and not overtax the motor. Um, let me see here, outside of that, looks like a little mini starter on the thing. Low car dipstick, I can see from down here. Tubular upper and lower control arms. Of course, we've gone through the uh, front suspension on the truck. You don't gotta worry about loose steering components or any safety hazards there. Uh, disc brakes on the front of it, brand new whip hoses. Um, and these look to be the same, same brand of uh, shock and uh, spring or coilovers, whatever you wanna call them on this side uh, as opposed to the back. And uh, like I said, fully adjustable. I'd like to turn your attention to up there. You can see that all this stuff is in really good shape as far as like the paint, you know what I mean? You see the uh, nice undercoat to protect the, the uh, fender. I'm kind of losing my train of thought here. You can see we've got uh, aluminum radiator. Looks like uh, the condenser for the AC. Um, I guess that's about it. At this point, we'll uh, take a look at wheels and tires and uh, show you the motor. Okay guys, for wheels and tires, we do have uh, the billet specialty wheels that I kept bragging on in the showroom. 235, 45, ZR17 is the size, and uh, Z means speed rate, speed, excuse me, speed rated, and uh, that's uh, just good insurance for uh, especially a hot rod type vehicle. You might whoop on it every now and again. It's just good insurance. Let's go check out the rear. 255, 45, ZR18's back here with the same good looking wheel. You can see our drum brake behind all of that, and look at the tuck where they got this wheel set up in there. They got the tape measure out for this one for sure. Um, it's a pretty impressive that they got all this tire and wheel in here and without any rubbing issues. Um, let's go check out the uh, 350 small block, if I'm not mistaken, under the hood. Okay guys, underneath the hood of this thing, uh, there's quite a bit to go through here. Um, the bottom end of the engine, or the short block, is a uh, Chevy 350 small block. Um, it, it is a crate motor. Um, on top of that, it looks like they have had put like a or they have put a complete top end uh, package on this engine. They have Edelbrock RPM performer cylinder heads, Edelbrock uh, intake manifold with matching Edelbrock uh, 1404 carburetors. That is for those of you who do not know, that is a 500 CFM a piece uh, of carburation there. So you do have a uh, thousand total CFM on top of this Chevy small block. Uh, and this thing actually runs pretty good. Uh, I've heard it idle quite, on quite a few occasions. It doesn't fuel up. It actually idles nice and smooth, so you don't got to worry about overfueling issues or anything of that nature. Behind all of that, you have a uh, MSD distributor. You do have, uh, looks like the vacuum advance is hooked up, MSD uh, vibration resistant coil hooked up to it. Um, I love the valve covers on these. I've always loved these valve covers. Uh, very old school looking. And uh, of course, it even has the matching uh, air cleaner as well with the K&N element. Um, let me see here, it looks like we've got a nice billet, uh, what is that re referred to as a uh, thermostat housing, along with uh, these nice uh, shrink fit type of hose clamps on here with the actual steel hose here as well. Um, looks like we have a chrome water pump on the thing, a nice set of billet pulleys on it, a brand new belts, this is the nicer style of belt too, and it's all, it looks like it's tensioned properly, all the belts are in really great shape. Um, underneath here, it looks like they also, they didn't even chintz out on the, uh, the rubber hose putting that on the bottom as well. They actually made one of these steel hoses for the bottom as well, painted it, and even used these same style of hoses even on the, the, less, uh, the less visible lower radiator hose. So that kind of implies to me that they, uh, they went all out with this one. They even decided to do it, I can see that now, that they've even decided to do it with your heater hoses as well. Um, this right here implies to me it's probably a vintage air style setup in the truck. Um, and then here's your AC compressor here. Um, let me see here, it looks like low car stuff over here that's running all of your throttle linkage. Low car dipstick as I had mentioned underneath and uh, I'm assuming that there is a low car trans stick. There is indeed right there. Um, big old champion aluminum radiator in the thing. Um, we got a GM one wire alternator. Uh, power steering in the truck and I also like to see the adjustments here. It's all those really nice hind joint style ones that I kind of wish I would have bought from my car. Um, you can see that the paint in here is absolutely beautiful. It looks like the outside of the truck, so they actually went to the lengths of actually prepping all of this stuff and sanding it down and painting it properly as opposed to just, you know, slapping some gloss black over it or something like that. They did a pretty good job of this to make it, this is the kind of truck you can pull into a show, pop the hood open, and people will actually be drawn to it and, you know, they'll nod their head at the worksmanship that's under here. Um, outside of that, 
that's pretty much it without going into too much detail with it. So uh, if you'd like to have this show truck parked in your driveway, make sure to call Tom with the number below and let Vanguard Motor Park this Chevy in your driveway.